Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. We're doing a Chanel unboxing today from the latest collection in boutiques, the 2018-19 Metier des Arts uh, collection, which is the Egyptian theme. Um, I'm not sure if I said that right, but uh, you all know what I mean. And for all of you Chanel lovers, I am curious in the comments to know what you feel about this uh, collection. It's definitely had mixed reviews. Um, I wasn't too sure about it myself actually, but living in the region, the Middle East here, I live in Dubai, you know, once you saw the collection live and its vibrancy, you really, I feel, at least for myself personally, had um, kind of a new perspective on the vibrancy, the beauty, and kind of uh, this, you know, I guess, originality of uh, Lagerfeld's perspective in terms of, you know, using Chanel, which I suppose conventionally would not do what I would say is an ethnic looking kind of theme. Um, obviously, there's a real standard that Chanel has that, you know, when you see a Chanel piece, you know it's Chanel, right? Um, it's just, I don't know if I'm allowed to even say that. Don't take it as a negative. But uh, anyways, let's get to it because I don't want to be one of these people that rambles on and on when they do an unboxing. Um, basically, we have two pieces here. So I'll open that one after. And then we have... Ooh, one second. The main piece, which of course, as they do, the beautiful wrap here. So... That's it, basically, and uh, let's get started. What should we do first? Of course, the big one. So, let's see. It's always a little difficult to unwrap with one hand. Anyways, I've seen a few people on Instagram that have this piece. I know they only had nine in Dubai Mall, so I was definitely lucky enough to get one. And, you know, after looking um, at all the different pieces of the collection, I, you know, I was apprehensive at first because actually I've switched you know, Chanel, I'm using other brands now, but Chanel does make such beautiful handbags. And since this is one of uh, Carl's last collections, he still has one more coming up, obviously the fall winter. I thought, you know what? I am gonna take a piece from this collection because you know what? They are just beautiful collector's items. So this is had mixed reviews. I know some people absolutely are not a fan of it, but in person, this bag, is literally, it's just breathtaking. It's probably one of the prettiest pieces that I have yet to see uh, in my life, to be honest, of all of the handbags that I have seen or have purchased. As you can tell, this is the, I guess it's called the gold metallic croco or crocodile is the term they're using or um, mock croc. <laughs> As you know, Chanel has stopped using exotics for various reasons, but obviously, um, I mean, if you know about handbags and where they're sourcing their leathers from, we do know, obviously, that, you know, Hermes is the big, the big boss when it comes to sourcing all of the actual exotics. So I know there's other reasons why. Chanel will say it's for the animals, but I don't think so. <laughs> Um, anyways, everyone, here it is. Um, I know it's not something for everyone, but uh, personally, you know, I would even call this bag slightly bougie. <laughs> Look that word up. But uh, there was something about it that just... It's quite beautiful. I mean, living here in Dubai, where you can use fabulous pieces like this when you go out, I mean, the more vibrant, the more, you know, kind of um, original, the more unique, the better. So, I mean, I wouldn't necessarily say um, I would purchase a piece like this if I was living, you know, probably not in North America. I don't know. This is uh, something that I guess living here, uh, you know, you're gonna see this, uh, style you know and I, I like that it has kind of this um I want to say what would the be matte kind of the matte like chain mixed with the gold I mean 
I, even in the video, it doesn't really necessarily look, it almost looks kind of a strange green. It could be the light, but I'm telling you in person, this bag is its sensational. It's absolutely beautiful. So when you open this piece, I'll just remove that. This is the small, okay? So I know that there is, I think, oh no, this is actually the mini. There's a small piece, this is the mini, okay, which I am a, pretty decent sized girl. I'm tall and I'm curvy. So at first I thought this could be too small for me, but it does look actually fabulous on. Um, so don't worry about that in terms of the size, but uh, the small actually uh, is a little bit bigger. It has the flap. So I've seen that one on Instagram. This one doesn't. So this still is going to fit, um, you know, cell phone. I don't know. Well, that will actually bring us though to the next piece that I purchased because sometimes I like with my handbags to have a matching piece. Not all, but I just thought with this collection, why not go all out? And sometimes I get a little bit crazy when I get into the Chanel shop. So I actually did purchase the Cocodile wallet to match. So yeah. I mean, it could be too much, maybe it is, I don't care. Um, I actually love it. And so I guess, yay, it actually makes me so happy to look at this piece. And I mean, I'm a new mom, so I'm not sure I'll even be going out to wear this anywhere. Maybe if I go to Europe this summer, I will pack this bag. Maybe not, maybe I'll use it in the winter time. I, I don't know, but something about it is so fabulous. I, I really just, I love it. So the wallet does fit perfectly. So I still have room for cell phone, a lipstick, and now I don't put any powders in my bags because I have had too many bad experiences in the past. But um, there it is everybody. So my new, Cocodile. <laughs> it's actually calfskin, the leather that they've embossed. It's calfskin, so it does feel beautiful, um, you know, and the actual texture of it is amazing. So, because with crocodile pieces, um, you actually, there's a whole other care regimen that you have to use. I mean, I don't want to say this is going to be a better solution to not use the crocodile because there are some beautiful pieces, obviously, but uh, you can see close up here. I'm trying to show you um, that they've done a pretty, the artisans, a remarkable job at trying to replicate the skin. Obviously, you know, you're going to have some people out there say, no way, it's faux, mock croc, etc. But I guess being a collector now for the last 10 years, that I mean, I see them as art pieces and kind of look at the vision that Carl had when he was creating these and the whole entire team. I mean, out of the whole entire collection uh, for this theme, I thought this was the most beautiful piece, but again, um, you know, I was torn between this one and the other one that had, uh, it was the 2.55 with the graffiti. But this one, when I actually saw it in person, was just like, wow, it's amazing. So, yeah. Here it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing and please in the comments, I would like to know your opinions uh, and see what you all think about it. All right, next time.